it's a really foul wet day, so let's pitch up a tent. Right, saying one thing, it's really quick to pitch. Uh, I've pitched it out properly, I've got good tension on it. I've noticed even just after that one pitch where in part one I did it in the wind, uh, that grommet split there. So that would have to be replaced, that's just after one use. So good, so we're going out for a couple of hours and uh, we'll leave it and see what it's like when we get back. In fairness as well, I might have not had that on properly when uh, I pitched it the first time in the wind, but I don't think it would have made much difference. It's perfectly dry inside there now. Great, so let's just zip that up properly. And we'll see what it's like in a couple of hours. Okay, it's the moment of truth. It rained hard for a good two hours. And then it's gone still and stopped for the last hour. So, is it going to be dry inside? Because it is meant to be a shelter, this tent. Of course, this is a little bit of a problem. When you open this, there's a wet door, we'll pool inside. Right. There's a wet patch right here. I suspect that's come in from the roof. Oh. Mm, hard to tell. It didn't pour in when I came in there. Maybe it's been pouring inside here through this seam. Because that's not a tape seam. It does seem quite damp there. Anyway, there's a puddle. Whichever way you look at it. Oh. Otherwise, seems quite dry inside. Yeah, the fabric's dry, so. So it's definitely leaked. If you could establish where that's come from, kind of hard to tell. I think it's I think it's been in through the door here. Didn't pour in when I. At least I don't think so. I was careful to pour in uh, when I open the door. So what's been the point of doing this? I think if they sell it as a, as a shelter uh, that should be appropriate for camping in British weather. So you know, I didn't think it passed the test in uh, wind, but I think light rain, it could probably uh, stand up to it. I think you'd have to kind of like test it uh, in uh, a steady downpour and establish where it was coming in and seal that up but that's just one one area that you could perhaps could deal with so not as bad as I thought but in wind an absolute nightmare so light showers they could probably cope But I still wouldn't buy one. On the last video, I put a link to a load of tents that I think could be more suitable. Spend a little bit more money, around sixty pounds, for a, a Van Gogh, or one hundred and twenty plus would be even better. Again, okay. But for us, you know, I found it in the woods. I just wanted to recycle it. It can do as a kids' play tent, though. 